Hello everyone, my name is Prashant and today I will cover overview of control room of Automation Anywhere A360. So guys, if you are new to my channel, then please click on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon so that you will get the latest videos notified always. Okay, so let's see the overview of the control room A360. So basically when you logged into the control room then you can able to see this UI. So here you can see uh, I have clicked on the home uh, tab here. So inside the home tab there is a my dashboard development and links uh, options are available. When we clicked on the my dashboard then whatever the activities we have performed in last uh, seven days those it will be showing here. Suppose this is the development activity we have performed in the last seven days so that it is showing here. Last of this particular page you can able to see the recently visited links are there okay so this is the my dashboard and if i'll go to the development option then you can able to see the whatever the last seven days development activity you have performed those you can able to see here and in links uh, there are some links are available which is provided by the automation anywhere so you can use it for your learning purpose and whatever uh, based on your requirement the second tab is automation so guys this is very important tab because whenever we are starting the development or whenever we will start for the practice then we will do everything is here okay so in the enterprise edition uh, we can able to see the another options here the public private and bot store but in the community edition the folders option is available in enterprise edition uh, we have the public because whenever the bot is developed in the private then we are moving those bots into the public se section so that is why those options are available in the enterprise but uh, here are some uh, limitations so we can able to see only the folder option here okay so inside that when you logged in a uh, first time then you can able to see the sample bots option but in my case i have created those options like my docs my metabots reports because this is the standard way to deal with the each individual section suppose we are using any of the script file then we can upload it inside the script folder suppose we are using any taskbot then we need to upload it inside the my task folder here so likewise if we are integrating any of the config file is there then we should move to the my docs folder here okay so likewise uh, just i have segregated it suppose the you wanted to create the first taskbot then you can able to go to the right hand side here and here you can able to see the plus sign okay so when you clicked on the plus icon then you can able to see taskbot taskbot from template form process these options are available here so by clicking on there by clicking on the taskbot you can able to create the taskbot similarly you can uh, create the taskbot from here also like the create new uh, option is there right so from here you can able to create the taskbot okay and in the table you can able to see the folder names status last modified and modified by these information are available inside this particular table i'll go to the second uh, option of this particular uh, panel so if you could see here the upload files so this is totally cloud based platform of the automation anywhere so you can uh, you need to upload the files whatever the supported files or whatever the in whatever the dependencies we have those we can upload it through this option okay suppose we need to delete something from our uh, folder that we can do it uh, once we need to check this and then we need to click on the delete button okay and then uh, if we perform some changes and if it is not reflecting then we can just click on the refresh so the always the latest data will be appeared in the below table okay so these are some uh, options which is showing here so the folder git folder atmx and dot mbot metabot okay so these options will be available here suppose i'll go to, uh, for one of the example in the text see here you can see the bot type is uh, taskbot here this is the uh, name of the taskbot and this is the folder so likewise uh, this is showing here okay also we can customize this particular table okay so here you can see uh, the raw level toolbar if i click on the show on the right hand side then you can able to see below okay at, at the right hand side you can able to see these options if i'll click on the show on left then you can able to see these options at the left hand side okay and also uh, i'll keep the hide here 
and also you can able to hide some of the columns and show suppose you need you you don't want to see the folder path option then you can uh, straightforward click on there you you can able to see that this is hide there okay and if you you need to add it again then you need to click on the plus uh, option from here okay so uh, this is the uh, this is whole about the automation tab going to the next tab that is the activity tab okay in activity tab if we are using the enterprise edition then you can able to see the another options are available like uh, if suppose i'm here okay so here we can schedule the robot we can run the robot from the activity tab and we can able to see the in progress activity and completed activities if i have okay so if i extend this then you can able to see the in progress activities historical activities so basically these kind of activities more about the operational activities so operator can use that whoever is having the operator role they can able to perform they can able to monitor the boards they can able to schedule the boards they can able to see whatever the boards are um, executed successfully those information it will be available inside the activity tab okay coming to the manage tab so here uh, basically this is uh, managing the devices managing the variables managing the credentials so we will see one by one so if i'll go to here in the devices which is attached for that particular control room and we can able to run all the boards on that particular devices you can able to see it here okay and if you need to add another device then you can just click on the connect the local devices suppose if there is a enterprise edition and uh, we are uh, we are having a more than 50 or uh, more than 100 robots then we need to segregate it bot based on the devices those then we need to add the multiple devices here okay okay so going to the global values uh, in here we, we are not able to create the global values because there are some restrictions in the community edition so global value is nothing but we are creating some variables and assign some values okay and those values we can use the entire bots not for the particular bot suppose we have one root folder okay and inside that we have a multiple folders based on the multiple processes okay then that root folder we can save it here also we can have the port number we can have the host number that needs to be used everywhere the same then we can use at a global values we need to just create this uh, variable here and we can use across the multiple uh, uh, task boards okay and here it is the credentials so we can able to create the credentials here if you want to see how to create the credentials then you can see this i button available at top and uh, and then you can able to see how to create the credentials and the lockers um, in a360 okay so here you can see the how many packages are enabled so that those we can use it inside our task board so you here you can see the uh, multiple packages are available we can use it in our task boards okay so this is the administration section so here you can see the users so how many users are uh, available inside this control room you can able to see here so as of now uh, my user is available here and user type here you can see the bot creator because bot creator means we can able to create the bot okay so the first name last name email id and the roles here you can see the roles also okay and uh, the last login like um, okay so last login last modified modified by it so every information is available in uh, users here so basically the user information is there what roles are there for that particular user what are the basic information of the user it is available here okay and he if you can uh, go here the bot running devices here that means uh, if if it is green that means device is added and we can able to run the bot if it is red that means device is not added so we need to add that device again uh, 